Hello, good morning students. My name is Devendra Singh Bagga. I am from Faculty of Commerce and Management, Rama University, Kanpur. Today, we are going to cover a very interesting and new topic, Internet. You know, today, this word is uh, basically connected to each other with the help of Internet. Internet is very useful and very important factor in our life nowadays. So, today, we will uh, cover the topic, Internet. Firstly, we will go through the topic, what is internet? So, what is internet? Internet is basically a type of facility in which we connected to each other with the help of computer system. So, with the purpose of sharing information, sharing files and our personal information to others, we are using internet. It is commonly used in uh, every part of our life, if you want to uh, book a railway ticket, then you can, then you have to use internet. If you want to find something on internet, you have to use internet. If you are going in a place where you don't know the uh, places where it is and how you will go there, then you can find all the things on the internet. So, we will cover this topic today. So, the second topic is types of network. So there are three types of network uh, in which uh, every computer system is connected. That are LAN, second is WAN, third is MAN. The first one is local area network. Lo local area network, a network which is uh, created in a building or in a small room or in a computer lab, you can say. So that is called local area network in which limited computer systems connected to each other in a building or in a room. There is a limited area in which it, these are connected. Now we are coming to the next wide area network. Wide area network, uh, it is a, a network in which uh, many networks are connected to each other uh, uh, in cities. Means, if you want to connect it from Lucknow to Delhi, so there are two branches of any AMC. So we will call it, it is connected in wide area network. So it may be different uh, cities, not it is possible uh, to connect from one building to another building. Now, Coming to the next, metropolitan area network, which is MAN. In metropolitan area network, there are some metropolitan cities in our India, so that are connected to each other with the help of this network to accomplish the maximum uh, business of our India. Okay. So these are the network in which we connected the computer system. Now, the next topic is in which uh, we will cover how systems are connected to each other. There should be a structure, there should be a way in which computer systems should be connected. So we will talk about that. So that topic is called topology. Topology. Topology is a way in which uh, computer systems are connected. We will design a structure in which a structure the computer system will be connected to each other and they will share the information and data to each other. So the first is bus topology. Bus. The first one is bus topology. See, you all know very well the structure of bus, how the bus is structured. So the computer system are connected to each other in, a, in this way. Like there is an area, common area. And these are the computer systems which are connected to each other in a in this bus uh, topology way. So, firstly, I will tell you the advantages of this bus topology. See, as we are using a single wire to connect all the computer systems, so it is very economical, it is cost saving, and it is very easy to design. But 
the main disadvantage uh, of this bus topology is if we are going to share the information from one computer system to another computer system, like if you will get, take the example, this is the computer system A and this is C. And if we want to share the information from the computer system A to C, then the data will go from the same medium and it will transfer all the information to all the computer system. So the information is transferred to all the computer system. This is the main problem. We don't want to share the information to other computer systems. In bus topology, if we will share something to a particular system, but it will go throughout the network and it will transfer to all the computer systems. So now coming to the next ring topology. You know the structure of ring, how it is in this way. To remove the problem of this broadcasting uh, in bus topology, we use this structure ring topology in which computer systems are connected to each other in this way and there will be a token. The computer system A, B, C, D. If the computer system A wants to share the information with C, so firstly it will cache the token. It will ask for the token, then the availability, as per the availability of the token, it will come to the A and this is the computer system A will give, a, give the information of the destination computer system, that IP address, with the data packets. Then it will transfer to the particular computer system. But there, again, there is a problem with this structure. The problem is that if this computer system is not working, by default, yeah, with any default, it is not working. So you cannot transfer the data from A to C. Right. So for this problem, there is a structure, star topology. Now, to remove uh, both these problems, the broadcasting problem and the connectivity problem, we introduce star topology. In star topology, we connected all the computer system in a centralized way. In this way. And this computer system is called server. And these all computer systems are called clients. In this structure, the problem of broadcasting removed because this computer system will save the information of all the computer systems. So if we, if we want to share the information from computer system C to F, firstly it will go to the server and server will decide the destination uh, client. And the, another problem of uh, structure like connectivity, so there, there will be no problem because you can see each uh, network, each client is connected to the server individually. Yes, still there is a problem. The problem is that if this server will not work, as you know, uh, we find out in ATM machines when we go for the cache and we find out that server is not coming. So the problem is with the server, the main machine which providing the information so if it is not available, then no client can work. No client, no PC can share the data to each other. So these are the main topologies. The structure, the design, in this way we will connect to the computer systems when we uh, design any local area network or in wide area network. OK. Now, coming to the next topic. The next topic is network devices. The next topic is network devices. See, we 
go through the internet we go through the types of network we see how to design the structure of any network now we need some devices to connect to the computer system okay the first one is hub switch router and gateway the first one is hub it is a small device using four or eight ports in it it means eight port means we can connect eight clients with this device maximum but the problem with the device is the broadcasting when we send the information from one computer system to another computer system it broadcasts the data to every system which is connected to this device so to remove this problem we come to the switch in switch we put a ram this is called switch and in this we inbuilt a ram which is stores the information of all the clients which is connected to it it may be four uh, contain four ports eight ports 16 and 32 means th maximum 32 systems can connect with this switch device and the problem of uh, broadcasting is removed because of this ram because uh, we save all the information of other computer systems to this switch and we configure all the uh, computer system so it will not broadcast the data to other systems now coming to the next uh, the next is router it is a device which is used in wide area network and these both devices are used in local area network so this router is basically a device which is used to connect to dissimilar networks like there are two branches of state bank of india one is in kanpur and the second one is in lucknow if we want to connect both of the branches to each other while using wide area network we have to use this router so here we are using another network like class aip or here in lucknow we are using class cip so it is possible to connect two dissimilar networks with the help of router in wide area network the, the next is gateway it is a device which is used to connect two different countries like if we want to connect india with sri lanka so this gateway device is work to connect to uh, that dissimilar networks and give a perfect uh, frequency of network to both places so these are the network devices which we use in uh, designing the network now finally the topic is ip address this is the naming of the computer system so come to the this topic ip address the full form of this ip is internet protocol you know what there are two types of naming of the computer system one with the help of nic network interface card which is a permanent address of the computer system while uh, any cyber crime occurs we find out the uh, the computer system the location of the computer system with the help of this nic card the full form of nic is network interface card which is inbuilt in the cpu of the computer system and which provide the connectivity to internet the second thing in the network 
while we are communicating communicating to each other we called other person with the name similarly in computer system when we connected two computer systems we have to provide the name to both of them so that name will ip address a computer can connect to each other with the help of ip address it will help to uh, connect two computer systems or more now i am telling you the detailed information about it the first one is there are five classes of ip address class a class b class c class d and class e basically we are using a b and c these are for the research and development and this ip address is used in supercomputer how we will find out that this class is of a so there is a range of it so if we are using class a ip address there will be a 1 to 126 i will give you the sample of the ip address but see we will uh bifurcate class b 128 to 191 class c 192 to 223 class g 224 to 239 and class e is 242 to 255 So these are the ranges for each class of IP address. Class A 1 to 126, 128 to 191, 122, 192 to 223, and 224 to 239, and again 242 to 255. Here you will find a number which is not included in this. That is 127. this ip address is 127.0.0.1 this is book ip address which is used for another purpose so here it is not included in the range like as a sample of ip address in this like i am telling you the uh, structure there are four octet of ip address four octet and each octet contains eight bits so if anybody asks that how many bits are there in ip address then the answer should be 32 bits and the answer should be 32 bits the class a ip address will be 10.0.0.1 this range comes in 1 to 126 class b ip address 130.10.0.1 class c ip address is 192.168.10.1 so basically we are using class a b c in our uh, local area network so these are the sample ip addresses how it is increased and how it will work and many more things are there in internet internet is a wide topic of computer science so rest of the things definitely i will cover in the next lecture so stay with me thank you thank you so much